Hey everyone, so in the following video, uh, we'll go over the process of how to install and import uh, demo content to the Rebecca template. So first of all, what you'll need to do is just go over to the back end of the website and scroll down to the Flow Theme Generals area. And here you'll have a button where you can import dummy data. So just simply click this, click OK. It'll take some time to load while it's importing. And as soon as it's done importing, um, we can go to the website, refresh it to see what type of content we've had come up. And so here we have our navigation menu, we have our blog post, but as you see, it's still a little bit messy. So what we'll need to do is actually set up the home page and adjust the navigation menu. So in order to do that, head on over to appearance, click on menus, and you'll need to simply go over here, click on main menu, click on save menu. And then also you'll need to head on over to the settings area, click on reading. Here you'll need to select your front page as the home page. So this will be just home page and the post page as your main blog page. So here we have blog, we'll click on save changes. And also one thing you might want to update are the permalinks. And just go over here to where it says post name and then click on save changes. And at this point, let's just go over here and refresh the front end of our website. And you'll see that we have our uh, website already set up. So as you see here, we have our navigation menu we have this uh, mosaic layout. Uh, the only thing that we do not have are um, the banners within the footer area. If we head on over to the demo website of Flow Themes, you'll see here that we have uh, some banners at the bottom and then we also have additional uh, information within the bottom as well. So uh, right now we'll just go over the process of how to add these areas here. Now, before we do that, if we go over to our documentation, and that link will be in the video description below, here we have a full layout of what is included into uh, the homepage demo website. So just head on over to demo homepage, and here you'll have all of the layouts. All right, so um, let's just scroll down, and here we have um, some of the widgets that we are going to add and this is these widgets over here. All right, so first of all, I go over to Appearance, head on over to Widgets, and here we have this widget where it says Below Page Content Sidebar, uh, which is where we're going to add all of our banners to. So in order to add the banners, uh, find the uh, text widget, Go here, and then what you'll need to do is simply copy paste this entire selection of text, just like that. Go here, add it. Now we'll click on save, and then we'll go over to the home page. We'll refresh this. We'll scroll down, and here we have the banners. Now, at this point, we need to update the banners. So it's best if you also let me just uh, open up our text editor here. It'll be easier to update our banners using the text editor. So first of all, to update these banners, what you'll need to do is go over to the media library. Okay. And uh, click on add new to upload a banner. And here I have my banners. So here we have a small logo with style me pretty. We'll just drag and drop it here. And as soon as it's uploaded, we have this link that we'll need to copy, open up our text editor. And um, this is where we'll need to copy and paste or paste the image link. So we'll need to select this bottom where it starts off with HTTP, demo.flowthemes, etc., etc. And as you see here, it ends with PNG. That means this is an image, so be sure to replace only the ones that have PNG. So we have PNG here, 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 and over here. So simply copy-paste this just like that, and this will be replaced. So technically, if we 
copy this. We'll go back here. We'll select this text. We'll replace it with our new image. Let's refresh our home page. And here we have Style Me Pretty with, um, with our new banner. All right, so next off, what we'll do is upload the remaining banners. So we'll just take these three and drag and drop them into this upload section. Okay, so here we have the knot. And we'll copy this and we'll paste it into our into our code over here, just like that. And we'll do the same for the other two. All right, so we've added our updated code. We'll refresh our home page, and here we go. We have all of our banners updated. And all right, next off, we also have an additional footer area with information over here. So this is a flow text widget, um, and in order to add that, we'll have we'll use the following footer first, second, and third widgets. Uh, actually, it's not flow text. This is a flow image, but without the actual image. So let's just uh, find our flow image. So here we have Rebecca flow images. And we'll expand this and just drag and drop this just like that. And um, let's just go ahead and copy our title. So we'll have information. And within the title, we'll add information. And this will be our description. We'll click on save. All right, so footer second, and this will be also Rebecca Flow Images. There we go. All right, so this will be about. And the description, we'll copy paste this here, just like that. And uh, we'll also have this. Um, social media widgets. So we'll click on save here. We'll save this here as well. And for footer third, we'll need to add our social media widgets. So let me just expand social um, flow widget third, take our social media, drag and drop it. And um, this will be just social. We'll click on save. So now if we go over to the home page, we'll refresh this page. Here we have the footer. Now it's completely identical as to what our demo website looks like. So we have our um, information within the footer. We have our banners and then we have our copyrights text. And this is what it looks like within our website. We have our demo content, we have our banners, and then we have all of this other information. And the only thing left to update is this mosaic text. So you can update the mosaic text by going over to the mosaic area. So here we have mosaic. We have mosaic home. And you can replace your images here. And then if you click on this edit button, you can also replace the text. So if we just type in, for example, best moments, Of a beautiful life. We'll actually just leave it as it is. We'll close this. We'll click on update. We'll go here, refresh our page, and here we have best moments of a beautiful life. So yeah, this is pretty much the entire process of how to install and import demo content into the first version of our homepage's demo. Uh, we do hope this video helps, but let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.